The Fibonacci sequence is a spiral that we see in nature. And I wanted to show you the math real quick using a grid. And so we start with the number one. And I'm just going to outline this so you can see the square that I'm starting with here. So that's the number one. Then we're going to add zero, the nothing, plus one. So we're going to get another square of one. Now, if you don't, this doesn't make sense yet. That's okay. Just hang on. Okay. So one and one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to spiral this spiral in this direction. So what we want to do is we want to now say one and one, we're going to make another square. Everything is going to be squares in the beginning. And you're going to see that this, this sequence is logarithmic. It gets big fast. But so we want to do one plus one is a square of two by two. Now, since we went this way and we're going out, the next one's going to be up here and we're going to add this line here, which is three, one plus two. So we're going to go three and then up three and make a three by three square. And this is three. Now our next square is going to be over here. And this is now going to be three plus the two. So it's going to be five. So three plus one plus one is another way to look at that. So one, two, three, four, five, down by five, over by five. We now have a five square. The next square would be here. Going this way, it would be eight. Then we'd have a 13 and it just 21 and it just keeps getting bigger but i want to show you on this one real quick how you're going to do the spiral so let me grab another color okay so now this next part we're going to freehand a little bit and what we're going to do is we are going to start in our first square and we are going to start with this corner here and make our way to this corner here right and you can just kind of sketch it in if you don't feel like you've got the curve right. Just give yourself some time to practice. So this one now, we're going to go to this one. And if you go like this, all of a sudden you can say like, whoa, that's kind of a weird curve. And having that second one helps you know where you need to round it out a little bit more. Now we're going to go from this one to this one. So we're following the same angle as the spiral. So I hope that makes sense. We have one, one and one, one and one is two, one and two is three, two and three is five, five and three is eight, eight and five is 13 and so on and so forth. So if we were to get a bigger one of these, you can see that it goes, I don't know if you actually can see this. So it's one and one, two, three, five, eight, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89. This thing gets really big, really fast. This spiral shows up everywhere. It shows up in galaxies, spiral galaxies. This is the math of them. Little seashells, this is the math of them. And so this is kind of like the visual math of the universe. So as an artist, when we learn how to use this, it helps make our, our paintings, if we're doing anything that's realistic or abstract, it helps make our paintings feel right. It's like somewhere down deep in us as humans, we go, oh yes, the spiral. Okay, I'm good. I got it. Right?